Greetings, Sagittarius. You guys, Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this Tuesday, November 8th. Oh my gosh, it's already November 8th. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. I'm so excited for all the food. But hi, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Um, oh, and if you're watching this live after the live's already over and this is a replay, check down below in the description box for items availability and pricing. And if you have any questions or interest in purchasing anything, send me an email. You can also watch our previous live sales as well and um, shop from those. But let's get into our live tonight. Let's see. Hi, Linda. There's Krista, Edie. Hi, guys. Liz. DG House. There's Jay. Hi, Boots. There's Shiloh. And there's Katie. Hi, all driving in the rain. So I'll be... Oh, Katie, be careful. It's raining intensely, at least here. So, And you know how it is in California with all the... <laughs> no one knows how to drive, even if it's just sprinkling. I feel like no one knows what's happening. So, um, hi, Tanya, Odelia. Oh, you guys, I got my tea that we were talking about uh, a few sales ago, a few lives ago, that was recommended by Linda. And Linda, I made it. I already, like, I, I literally almost finished the whole thing already. It is so, so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, let me see if I still have that link for that tea. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm going to link the tea in case anyone wants to try it. It is really, really good. My mom really likes it, and it smells amazing. It smells so good. So that's the link for the tea if you guys want to go uh, try it out from Amazon. It is so, so good. I highly recommend. Robin, I'm glad. Yay. Yes, the time you're awake. Hello, Marjorie. There's Marion, hello, there's Kathleen, Tia Spurge, Jay. Oh, t yeah, Thanksgiving. Like, my mom and I are going all out this year, and I'm really, really, really excited about it. So we've been planning, uh, like I said, since... Since even before Halloween, we've already been planning what we're going to be doing, making. And then we were also planning again uh, when my aunts were here because they're all going to be here for Thanksgiving as well. And yeah, there's going to be so much food. I don't even know what to do with myself. And it's going to be so much fun. Hi, Lady Badger. There's Purse Curator. Oh, no! Is there, are there going to be hurricanes over there right now in Florida? Stay safe. It's so crazy over there. Oh, Jay, I'm glad you like your Tory Burch. Yay! Linda, it is amazing. I, this is my... I think this might be my new favorite tea, honestly. Um, my old favorite was, like... Um, I forgot what blueberry tea it was, but it was a blueberry tea, which is so good. But this is, like, next level. And the smell of this is so... Amazing. It smells so, so good. And the, the scent is like super duper strong too. It is so delicious. Hi, Sarah. Oh, Anne, that's a good question. Okay, that is tonight's question. Thank you to Anne. What are you most grateful for? I love that. And let me leave the link for the giveaway. And then I'll show you guys what our giveaway is for tonight. Okay, so there's the link. I kind of spammed it up a little bit in the um, in the chat right there. Uh, but tonight's giveaway, I'm going to give away this little anthropology pouch. And it has this, like, sequined, jeweled letter B for bestie. Because whoever gets this is my thrifting bestie. So this is tonight's giveaway. It's super cute. Little anthropology clutch pouch. It's like this... Um, bright pink in the inside and then it's red on the back with like some sequins and it has a little removable wristlet which is leather i love the wristlet this is a really cute one you can put this on other things too which i think is great like you can put it on um a wallet or a pouch that doesn't have a wristlet and then suddenly you have like a little wristlet and then you're ready to go so I feel like this is almost like a two for one. So this is tonight's giveaway. Leave your answer in tonight's, uh, the comments of tonight's video. And at the end, we're going to be announcing our live, or our live, our giveaway. Hi, Gail. I'm glad you're here too. Welcome to the live sale. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm super excited to see you all here. Sorry I've been a little MIA the past few days. 
all three of the boys have the flu right now. Like, luckily, it's not anything worse than that, but they've just been home from school. They're still home today, but I feel like they're going to go back to school tomorrow. They're pretty much, like, already better, but we're, we just kept them an extra day just because it's, like, raining still and it's, like, crazy outside. Shiloh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I actually have another one of these shirts. Uh, I thrifted this one for John. It was smaller than the other one that I had. But now I don't know where the other one is. Um, isn't it funny, though? I love it. National Sarcastic Society. I got I got it from the thrift store. I got both of them from the thrift store. So I don't even know exactly where it's from originally. <laughs> but this is... Yeah, I, I love this shirt. I think it's so funny. And I made a new channel on Discord. Oh, yeah, and of course. You're, you're one of the mods for a reason. Oh, and if you guys would like to join our Discord group, let me leave that link. Hold on. Let me get that really quickly. Uh, our Discord group is so much fun. The party always continues on there after the lives end. And there's always someone to chat with. Um, pretty much 24 hours a day. I feel like you guys are chatting all day long and I love it. And let me get that little linky. There you go. All right. So if you would like to join, there you go. Our Discord group. It's always fun. There's lots of different uh, little subsections, just like Anne said. She just added a new like photo media share section. So you can share whatever photos that you like. There's a authentication um, little channel. There's a handbag rehab question channel as well, where you can also share your favorite leather cleaning products and tips and tricks and whatnot. There's also a for sale by group section. So if any of you guys are also resellers or just have a couple things you're trying to get rid of, um, you can post them on there. You can post links for your Mercari, Poshmark, eBay stores, whatever. Uh, you can leave it there. And there's even our chubby buddy diet and exercise group as well. So, um, yeah, we, I think we have a, we covered all the bases, I think. Hi, Don. how are you? Oh my gosh, Anne, I looked at that, um, I, I looked at the channel really quickly right now, too. The, so cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, Tanya, that's awesome. Okay, well, let's get started. I have a ton of goodies tonight. Also, I did want to let you guys know that I'm going to have a special sale on Friday, this coming Friday, because it's 11-11, so it's like Make-A-Wish Day, right, or something like that. So I wanted to do a sale um, that night. So uh, we're going to have a couple sales. I don't know if I'm, should I just move the one from Thursday over to Friday, or are you guys, like, okay with having, like, so many sales in a week? Because there's going to be one on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm also figuring out when I'm going to do that sale with V. And I think we decided that we're going to be doing the, the sale on my channel here. So um, I'm going to have handbags and shoes and clothing and a bunch of stuff. And then she also has a ton of, like handbags but I think she's also going to be doing a lot of clothing as well and some shoes so we just have a ton of stuff and we're gonna have like a little Black Friday sale but I think it's definitely gonna be before Black Friday I think it's gonna be Thanksgiving week and I think it's gonna be Tuesday of Thanksgiving week so I think it's actually gonna be on the 22nd of November so um yeah so Tuesday the 22nd, I don't exactly know what time, but it'll be one of those days. Or it'll be that day, I think, for sure. Uh, and we're still trying to plan everything out. Never too many. Oh, you guys are the best. <laughs> okay, well, let's jump into it. But I think there's even more people in here than there were earlier. So our question tonight is, thanks to Anne, what are you most grateful for? And then I will leave that link again for the video um, where you can leave your comment and uh, leave your comment or leave your answer in the comments of that video. And then at the end of tonight, we're going to be answering or we're going to be doing our giveaway. Oh, Caroline. Okay, that's perfect. That's that's actually very true. <laughs> but yes, you guys, this tea is so good. So you guys enjoy like a nice 
It doesn't even taste like tea, honestly. I don't even know. Like, it's called a dessert, a dessert tea. And it is so, so delicious. I wish you guys could smell the tea. Because it's just, like, just smelling it, I feel like, already lifts my spirits. And it is so delicious. So thank you, Linda, for sharing this tea with us. It's definitely going to be, like, on my list of favorite things. This is such a good gift, too. Like, if you're a wonder, like if you ha know someone that loves tea, I feel like this one's a really, really good one. It's so yummy. Mmm. I even have my little cozy, comfy mug that I thrifted. And it's, like, perfect for right now because it's, like, cold and it's raining. Oh, DG House! Yay! D what, let me know when you get it and let me know when you try it because it's so good. But, yeah, if you guys could give the channel or the video a thumbs up as well. That always does help the channel immensely and I would greatly appreciate it. I uh, finally got the Happy Shrimp Chips. Oh, boots, did you? Do you like them? They're so good. <gasps> Speaking of shrimp. I got the cutest plates. Hold on, I have to show you guys really quickly before we start. Okay. I went to Anthropology and I went to the sales section, which is my favorite section at Anthropology. I only really shop from the sales section. Uh, but I got the cutest little shrimp plates. I'm sad that there were only two of them, but I got I got them. They're so fun. I'm obsessed. Isn't it so cute? I didn't even show my mom yet. She's gonna love them. So, yeah. Ah! Obsessed. So excited. Okay. But that's my little show and tell for tonight. Let me just set that over here. Okay. Oh, thank you, Melissa. All right, well, let's just jump into it. I have lots of bags, of course. I have a really cool pair of sunglasses tonight and I actually have a good amount of shoes. And I got some clothing as well, since the shoes and clothing were doing pretty well in the past sale. Oh, Kathleen, I'm glad you like them. All right, let's uh, let's start off with. I don't know what to start off with. Okay, let's start off with this. Okay, this is a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous All Saints, um, like large. It's like almost like a hobo tote style. I I only call it hobo because it only has like the one like the one shoulder strap. But it does have the long crossbody strap as well. And the leather on this is so, so nice, you guys. Like, it's amazing. It's a really beautiful color, too. It's like a taupey, a taupey gray color with silver hardware. Um, so when you wear it on your shoulder, kind of like looks, hold on me, like that on your shoulder. It's a amazing size and it's not too heavy because it's unlined but the inside is just in this amazing suede which is the underside of the exterior leather there's one interior pocket inside of there and there's also a removable yeah a removable little clutch pouch that also says all saints right across the top the zip works really well and the interior is nice and clean. There is just a couple marks on the exterior that I couldn't remove. So there's that little um, mark right there. It's, it's pretty small. It doesn't really show too much, even on camera. But that is there. And then there's um, some marks right here on this little corner. But, yeah. Oh, and there's also a little mark right here on this side. Again, not too noticeable. Like, none of the marks are, like, super obvious. But just know that they are there. Um, and also the underside, or the inside um, bottom of the bag, it does have... What is it called? It does have, like, a fabric base. And it's kind of, like, reinforced. So that way the bottom of the bag holds its shape. Oh, DG House. Yeah, I think that's true. 
Like, if you buy a Costco gift card, um, you already have the Costco gift card, all you have to do is just go to, like, customer care or customer service or something, and they give you, like, a temporary card or, like, whatever that you can use so you can shop and use your gift card. So you can definitely do that. But hi, Dodo Bird. Hi, Embosto. Your sushi just look great on. <gasps> yes! And I actually made sushi last night, and it's, like, pretty much all gone already. Uh, well, also, Dawn, I think they sell that brand of chips at, like, 99 Ranch, if you have, like, a 99 Ranch near you. And I think they also sometimes will have them at, like, various Asian markets, like H Mart and stuff like that. Uh, but I feel like they're always sold out at my locations also. So I only ever find, like, the big... They only have the big bags, I think, at Costco. They have the smaller bags at other... Um, other like Asian grocery store retailers. So yeah. But um this is our first bag. So beautiful. And that's gonna be number one, our large gray tote oh, hold on, it's not caps. Large gray tote all saints. Oh Don you don't Silver hardware. And this one is going to be 125 And that is going to be item number one. Hi, Terry. We're happy to see you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Don't forget to enter our giveaway. Um, I'll leave that link again for you as well. Um, where is it? We're giving away a little pouch tonight. All right. Okay, there's the link. Our question tonight is, what are you most grateful for? And we're giving away this Letter B Anthropology Pouch by Miss um, Albright. Because whoever wins this is my bestie, my thrifting bestie. So, Letter B. And then our next item be number two. But isn't this such a great bag? Oh, I also like that the crossbody strap has kind of like this cool, like, um, whip stitch detail around it. I think that's really nice. All right, up next. Oh, let's do these boots. Okay. Um, I know it's kind of like rainy season, snow season right now, so I think these are perfect. And this is a pair of um, black rubber Rebecca Minkoff boots. They're in great pre-loved condition, silver hardware. They have these buckles on the side, and they also do have a zipper. There is just a little bit of like... Um, Kind of like cracking, I guess, on the rubber. But, like, it's not, like, going through. It's just, like, they're, like, superficial cracks. Um, oh, it looks like Purse Curator's calling item number one. Congratulations, Purse Curator. Let me find my gavel. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It fell. Congrats. Yay, Purse Curator. Congratulations. That is a great tote bag. You are going to love it. All right. Let me just get that in my notes. Okay, set this guy aside over there. If I cost a guy, I can use it to get in and then use my food stamp and use others. Um, I don't know if you can use other forms of payment other than the gift cards. But I know for sure, like, if you have Costco gift cards and you don't have a Costco card, you can get a temporary card for the day. But I don't know, like, what happens, like, if you have, like, extra stuff. So I think you'd have to ask them. Maybe you can call, like, customer service or check on the website. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure about being able to use anything else. I don't know if, like, you have to, like, pay cash or something. I'm not sure. Uh, also, these boots are a size, I think they're a size 7. Yeah, these are a size 7. There's not too much wear on the bottom, and they are, again, they're zippered on the sides. Super cute, and they also have like a, a little inch heel on them as well. So, these are uh, black... Black rubber boots, size seven. The silver hardware. 
Okay, we're doing these guys for just $25. And that's going to be item number two for our Rebecca Minkoff boots. Again, these are a size 7. Oh, thank you, Edie. Super cute. All right, up next, we're going to go to number three. Mmm. This tea is good, even cold. Like, honestly, it's so delicious. Hi, love. How are you? Okay, our third item for the night is going to be... Oh, let's do this guy. Okay, I have this beautiful... Tweed Michael Kors crossbody flap bag. It has silver hardware and then it has a navy leather trim. And the tweed is in a black, blue, and white silver hardware. There are some like marks on the hardware, like just from normal wear. It's nothing like super crazy, but there are marks on there. There's a great back pocket. Let me see if my phone will fit inside the back pocket. Okay, phone doesn't fit lying down if it's standing up, but my phone definitely does fit in the interior of the bag. So you, you squeeze the buttons to open it up. Under the, under the top flap, it's a navy leather. And then the main um, area of the bag is in like this Michael Kors fabric and tan. There's a back pocket that's a zipper pocket. And then underneath that are four built-in card slots. There's a middle zipper dividing pocket. And then on the other side, there's just a large like slip pocket inside of there. And the interior is nice and clean. I don't think there are any pen marks or anything inside of there. Yeah, interior is in great shape. Um, the tweed looks good. And all the exterior corners are in great shape. It has also leather piping all around the exterior of the bag and the straps are convertible so you can wear this as a shoulder bag or extend it and wear it as a crossbody so you can wear this a couple different ways oh I know boots is how it is over here too hi Bevin Okay, so this is number three. This is our blue. Um, blue Michael Kors tweed flat bag with silver hardware. And this guy's going to be how much, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $70 for our Michael Kors. That's going to be item number three. All right. Such a beautiful bag, right? <gasps> it was 90 degrees in Tennessee. That's crazy. I think it's like, it was 60 something degrees here today. Let me check. Now I need to know. I don't remember what the temperature was. I didn't even go outside today because it was, oh, it's 56 degrees today with a flash flood warning. Uh, so that's item number three is our blue Michael Kors tweed crossbody flat bag. Um, next up, gonna go to item number four and what clothing pieces do I have do I have anything cool oh no these are I think these are pieces that I got from my aunts okay we'll do those later um it was lower 80s in Texas. <gasps> no way, Ambasto. <gasps> Hi, Ariella. How are you? I hope you're doing well. How is school? Thanks. Oh, yeah, right, Boots? <laughs> I'm glad, too. I don't like driving when it's raining. It always, like, the people are always too crazy, and I just want to stay out of it. <laughs> so I just stayed home um, and just, like, did stuff around the house I needed to get done. 73 degrees, but now it's 52. Oh, Sarah, that's like how it is here right now, too. Um, okay, so I think, Don, you were asking me about this bag. Um, so this one is still available. This is the Vince Camuto little shoulder bag, and it's in this croc-embossed 
Um, I don't know if this is leather, honestly. I think it might be, hold on, let me, I think I can check the tag. Um, oh yeah, no, it's leather. Okay, so it's a embossed printed leather, and it's this beautiful ombre, like light blue to a darker red. And on the back though, I wasn't able to remove all the marks completely. They're a lot lighter, but they are still there. So you can see that there's a couple marks on the back there, and there's that back pocket. The front though, doesn't have any marks on it. And the, like the marks are only here on the back. I honestly think it might be like, kind of like a weird color transfer situation that happened back there, which is why the marks are really hard to remove. Uh, it has silver hardware. You can actually change the bag into like a large wristlet. So now it becomes a wristlet like that. Or you can attach a chain onto here and then make this a crossbody bag. So you can wear this a couple of different ways, but this just does have like the little shoulder strap and then you wear it like that on your shoulder. There's a nice large back pocket right there, perfect for your cell phone. And then this does zip across the top right here. And interior just has a one zipper pocket in the back and then a nice slip pocket here in the front and the inside is nice and clean just has a gray microfiber lining california's oh yeah definitely boots looking at the chanel cruise <gasps> oh tanya it's a vince camuto featuring <gasps> oh happy early birthday ariella wait is that that's ariella right or is that veronica Okay, so this is number four. And, um, wait, did you find a Vaderin? Yeah, the other day. Like, at the last sale. It's Vince Camuto. Are you sure? Hold on, let me look. I feel like I did show it. If it wasn't like the last sale, then it was the one before. Bless you. Mm, no, it's, let me find it. Vince Camuto, Vince Camuto, Black Vince. Why am I not finding it? Mm, no, I did. I'm, I know I did. It's my mom's birthday. Oh yeah, see, Veronica's birthday was December September fifteenth, so it's Ariella's birthday. Um, it's not gray. It's red and blue. Oh, uh, why did you say gray? Hmm. I thought I did. Oh, did I make it up? Or maybe I just showed it really quickly. Yeah, see, Press Creator remembers. Anyway, so this is it. How much are we doing this one for? Okay, so this is our Oh, maybe I just remember, I thought I like showed, I always get confused because I'll show stuff in the video and I think it was like in, like a live. Okay, no, but I think I did show it and then I was like, let me try to clean it first. Anyway, it's okay. Also, hi Janice, how are you? So this is our Vince Camuto. Blue and red ombre. You did show that because you tried to. Oh, see, Terry remembers. Thanks, Terry. I thought I was going crazy. 
ombre, croc, embossed leather. Okay, we're just gonna do this one for $25. Um, so it's yours, um, Dawn, if you want it, $25. Again, I couldn't remove the marks on the back, unfortunately. They just got a little lighter, but they are still there. So that's going to be item number four. All right. Congratulations, Dawn. This guy's going to you. Yay. All right. Put the guy over there. Okay. Up next, we're gonna go to number five. And let's do, oh, you guys are gonna like these shoes. It's not show during the life only. Okay, um, this one is a pair of Tory Burch slip-ons. They are in like a white, like nylon-y kind of fabric. And then it has these leather flowers on them. And then they have these little gold Tory Burch logo buttons on the sides. Um, the shoes are in pretty good shape. The bottoms don't have like too much wear on them, right? And, ah, dropping them. Here's the inside, like the insoles. They're in really good shape. These are a size seven and a half. So, if anyone's seven and a half, these are our next item. Our white nylon and leather flower Tory Burch slip on size 7.5. Okay, we're going to do these guys for $55. And that's going to be item number five. They're really cute. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. So those are our white um, Tory Burch shoes. Let's go on to our next item. And let's do, oh, let's do these guys. Okay, up next we're gonna do number six and they're gonna be these Chanel sunglasses. They are pretty major. They come in the case and everything. And here are the sunglasses. They're, uh, so the frame, like the top of the frame is kind of like in a tortoise shell, and then it has a gold metal around the bottom. And then the arms are in this like cool, like distressed denim. And then they have like this, the gold little CCs right here on the sides. And the arms are kind of like they're rubber, so they're kind of like pliable and moldable, which are cool. And they look pretty fun on. This is how they look. If only I looked better in a kind of like a cat eye sunglass, I would definitely keep these. Like if the ends didn't go up like that, I would probably want to keep them. But I think they're really cute. They're a good size too. These are a fantastic size. Um, it's going to be item number six. And they also have a like a gray, or like a brown, brown gradient lens and very like minor marks on the lenses, nothing notable that's going to like affect your vision or anything. So they're in really great shape. So these are Chanel sunglasses. Number six, brown Chanel sunglasses with case. Oh yeah, I hope, I hope Hannah's doing better. I know she was sick. And I think, did she have a test recently too? Um, she has a case, tortoise shell, and gold hardware, and distressed quilted denim arms. Okay, we're going to do these guys for 120 Again, these will come with the case. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Yeah, so 120 for these guys. They're like a brown tortoise shell, gold underneath. 
it has the quilted distressed denim sides and the little gold Chanel CCs. And again, these will also come with the case as well. I love the Chanel cases. They just feel really nice. I think they're actually real leather, right? That's probably why they feel really nice. Um, so those, are, these are these are these guys. Beautiful sunglasses. Chanel. Oh, Bubble Tea Holic. Hi, how are you? Number six. Congratulations. Yay! These sunglasses are beautiful. You're going to love them. All right. Up next, we're going to go to item number seven. And what do we have for number seven? Mmm. Okay, let's do this guy. My pile of bags is like gonna fall over. Okay. Up next. Wait, let me see what everyone's saying. Oh, there's Linda. Okay, our next item for the evening is this is a Rebecca Minkoff. A Rebecca Minkoff backpack. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, someone just texted me right now. Um, a Rebecca Minkoff backpack, and it's in... I've had this a couple times. This might be the third time I've had this, second time in black. And it's in a black, like, nylon quilted fabric. And it has black tonal hardware, and then the straps and the bottom are in leather, in black leather. It's a beautiful backpack. I believe this is called the Edie backpack. There's a large magnetic snap pocket here. You can actually put your like um, laptop back here. I think it would fit really nicely. And then there's a side pocket right here. This is actually its own compartment. So, and it's nice and large. You can like almost fit up to my elbow inside of there. So there's a great side pocket there. And then this is just decorative. The top is actually a uh, magnetic. And then the interior is also just in a black fabric lining and has one zipper compartment right here. This backpack is in fantastic condition. It's like new and this is such a good backpack. It's super lightweight. It holds a ton. And I love the feel of the puffy, like, nylon. It's fantastic. Oh, Kathleen. <laughs> Funny. Have a good dinner, Linda. Oh, my goodness. Yay. Okay, so this is our um, black... Lar this is the large version, too. Large, black, quilted... Rebecca Minkoff nylon ED backpack with black hardware. And we're going to do this one for, we're going to do under 100. We're going to do $99 on this guy. And it's going to be item number seven. And like I said, this one is in really great shape. It looks like it's like new condition. And that's going to be item number seven. Okay, up next, we're going to go to item number eight. This is such a good backpack, right? So cute. I love, like, this little top strap, too. It reminds me of, like, um, it's very reminiscent of, like, the Chanel Spirit backpack, I think. But in nylon. It's really nice. Oh, I actually have the Spirit backpack. But I have, like, the regular quilted one, not the Chevron quilted. But it's a fantastic backpack. Okay, up next, we're going to go to item number eight. I finished my tea, so I'm moving on to my diet orange soda. I wonder what my mom made. I think my mom made egg rolls. Doesn't that sound so good? <laughs> Don. <laughs> Be strong, Don. It is a good backpack, though. It's a good size, too. All right. Uh, next item. Let's do... Oh, okay. I am obsessed 
with these shoes. They are so fabulous. I uh, have magic shampoo, sparkly, and oh, that sounds so good, boots. I love that chicken. I know what you're talking about. It's like um. I forget what it's called in Tagalog, but my mom always makes that too, and I am obsessed with it. I'm just trying to take the sticker off on the shoe so you can see the inside and how clean it looks. Ah, yes! Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is another pair of Tory Birch shoes, and these are like um, heeled loafers in a black glazed leather. Can you talk, like, can you... Take, these are so gorgeous. At first I was like, Harry Potter? Because I, th I saw the crest and I was like, that looks a little bit like Harry Potter, you know? But this is very, like, dark academia vibes. Uh, I love that it has this cool, like, gross grain ribbon detail around the shoe. It's in a cream, black, red, and blue. And then the hardware buckle details right here are really pretty. And it has about a two-inch heel height. And these are a size 6. So, size 6. They're in really good pre love condition. The shoes look fantastic. Size 6. These are such good, like, fall-winter shoes, too, right? I can just imagine, like, black leggings, like, a cute, like, plaid skirt or something. And then, like, a nice cozy sweater. I feel like it would be fantastic. Or a nice cardigan. This is going to be uh, number eight, our black Tory Burch um, size six, what are these called? Loafers? Heeled loafers. And these are size six, that's what I said, right? Size six. Size six. Heel height two inches. And how much are these, Vadrian? Okay, these are also 55. I'm sorry, Carmen. I know. That's the thing I don't like about shoes is that, like, if someone really likes them and, like, if the, if it's not their size, they can't do anything about it. Like, with handbags, it doesn't matter. Like, anyone can carry a bag or a wallet of any size. But it's shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. The shoes. Okay, this is number eight. Up next, we're going to go to... Our number nine item for the evening. How gorgeous are these, though? I love the buckles. They're so good. Oh, they go with the backpack. All right, number nine is going to be... Let's do another bag. I have so many good bags, you guys. It's, like, crazy. I feel like I got such good... Oh, my gosh, I almost lost my keys. <laughs> I didn't know that they were there. Okay, our next item is a... This is a uh, Patricia Nash. And how fun is this bucket bag, like drawstring bucket bag? It has this fun fringe. It's in a brown leather, right? It has antique brass hardware. It has a drawstring detail here in the front. Also, it does have pockets. So it has two pockets on the front. And also the same two pockets here on the back as well. The crossbody strap is adjustable. And the interior is in this like nutmeg microfiber lining. There's a zipper pocket back there. There's also a snap at the top. So you don't have to pull the drawstring to keep the bag closed. You can just do the snap. And then there's two open pockets on the other side. It's nice and clean inside of here too. Like the bag is in really good shape. Um... I don't see any, like, darkening on the microfiber. don't see any pen marks. Yeah, this bag is in really great shape. So this is our next item. Look at that. It's so much fun. The fringe always gets me. You guys already know how much I love the fringe bag. So this is our brown, suede, our brown leather fringed. Uh, Patricia Nash drawstring crossbody bag with antique brass hardware. And this one we're going to do for $60. That's going to be item number nine. Hi, Style Chat. How are you? 
<gasps> oh my gosh, a recipe swap would be so fun. Ooh, Kathleen, we can do a recipe section. We gotta do a recipe section in the Discord group. So you guys can put like all your favorite recipes on there. And I'll put some of mom's recipes up too. Carmen, right? They do look like Gucci shoes for sure. Okay, so that was item nine. Hi, Laura. How are you? Okay, and that was our Patricia Nash. What happened, Vadrian? Oh. Vadrian is currently babysitting two kids right now, so I'm just, like, cracking up. They're saying the funniest stuff. One of them is asking Vadrian if, they could, if she could have their iPad when they pass away. <laughs> Uh, okay, so our next item is going to be 10. Put this guy back here. Our gorgeous Patricia Nash. And let's do... Do I have any shoes that are a size 7? Oh, let's do this. Okay. Um, our next item will be... Oh, where'd that wallet go? Oh, I have this little Kate Spade. Right? Vadrian is always multitasking. Right, Sarah? Okay, yeah. After the live, I'll add in a recipe section in the Discord group so you guys can swap recipes. I think that's a great idea. I can't believe I don't have that right now. So our next item is this little Kate Spade card case. I love the scalloping on top. This side is in like a salmon pink orange color. And then the back is in this like chalk pink and it has two card pockets and has that scalloping on there as well. And then there's just one compartment up top. So it has one, two, three compartments. This guy is in great shape. The only thing is it has, uh, this is glue that has like yellowed. That's just from when they make the wallet. That glue at first is clear and then over time it yellows. So just know that there is some of that yellowing right there. Otherwise the wallet is in really great shape. Um, I wonder if the toy shoes could be Marjorie, maybe, like, if you take it to a cobbler or if you have, like, those, um, like, the shoe expander things. My dad actually has one of those. <laughs> so, um, I think you can. And it has, like, a nice rounded toe, too. So I feel like there would be, like, a lot of space. But, yeah. But I honestly, I honestly don't know. I'm not, like, um, Lady Badger. Oh, Lady Badger, what kind of shoes do you like? I'll have to keep a lookout. This is our um, salmon pink and chalk pink scalloped card wallet. And it has gold hardware. And we're going to do this wallet. Uh, let's just do $25 for this guy. Again, this one's in great shape. $25 bucks for a Kate Spade little card wallet. She's super cute and in great condition. And that's number 10. Okay. Just put this guy right there. Oh, Kate Spade card case. Our next item. How many people are in here? Oh, there's even more people in here. Don't forget, you guys, to enter our giveaway. We're giving away a Miss Albright um, Anthropology pouch. It has this bejeweled and sequined letter B. Because whoever wins this is going to be my thrifting bestie. So it's a really cute pouch, has a removable wristlet, and oh, and if you give the video a thumbs up, that always does help the channel immensely. I'm watching Chop, they have this really cool, oh, there's a nun on Chop that cooks, that's cool. Anything but flats. I have a neuropathy in my feet. Oh, Lady Badger, that's kind of like my mom. She can't wear flats either, They it always has to have some sort of heel or something but then just like not too high of a heel but she always needs some sort of something uh this is the link for the giveaway you guys enter um on there leave your answer in the comments section of that video and at the end of tonight's live sale we're going to be announcing our winner <gasps> that's right boots oh my gosh i'm crossing my fingers for you 
our next item is going to be item number 11. And let's do... I have so many goodies tonight. Like, I don't even know what to do. Oh, okay. I have a... Wait, should I do it? Wait, did I just do shoes? I did a wallet, right? Let's do another pair of shoes. Okay, so this is a pair of... Oh, wait, I didn't know what the size of these were. I think they might be a 7. I'm going to have to measure these first, you guys. Never mind. I can't show these shoes yet. I think they're like a women's... Se or a men's 7? I'm going to have to have my mom try them on. So... But just... I. I have these, but we will show those in another sale. I have to, I forgot that I need to ask my mom to try them on first and see if they will fit here. Because I think she will fit into a men's seven, maybe. Is a men's seven is a what women's feet, right? Do you know? It's like a nine or eight and a half or nine or something like that. But yeah, we'll have mom try them because I think they might fit her. I'm not sure. Let's do a bag, though, now. I don't know. Um, oh, let's do this one. Okay. This one is super cute. There are sneakers with memory foam at the moment. For these candy, I don't know if you can help my friend right there. I'm selling this candy. Oh, Veronica! Oh, I mean, Ariella, you're selling candy for your sixth grade field trip. You should put it in the Discord. Do you, um, does it have, like, a website that they can order from? And, like, they can use, like, your, like, your student number thing or whatever? Or do they have to, like, order it through you? Yeah. Eight point. Oh, thank you, Lady Badger. You're the best. Yeah. So if they fit my mom, then they're going to be, then they'll, yeah, they'll be an eight and a half. Because my mom was an eight and a half. If anyone's interested, though, like, right now, let me know. And I can just have my mom try them on right now. But otherwise, I'll save them for the next sale. Perfect. Yeah, definitely put a link in our Discord group. I'm sure someone will want to buy some candy. Steve's candy is so good, too. I wish I could have some, but I'm on a diet still. Also, I eat too much candy during Halloween. <laughs> Hi, Diana. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Oh, see, right there. Yeah, Melissa said, put your info on Discord. I need orthonics like Bionic and Dance Co. They are not so cute at times. Oh, it's an order form. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure, like, people could contact you, like, they'll con they can, if you can put your, like, um, let people know on Discord that you're selling C's candy, maybe you can, like, add a photo or something of the, I know, I think there's, like, a little booklet thing, right, of, like, the different candies, and then they can direct message you, um, if they would like to purchase anything, because I think that just ships directly to you when it's through C's candy, <gasps> Rachel! Oh my gosh! Right, that's raining. How is Disneyland though? I know like no one goes when it's raining. Hi, West Coast gal. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is our next item. I got sidetracked. Um, this is a Stella McCartney black. Uh, I know this is a vegan leather pouch. She doesn't use any animal products at all for any of her items. So this is a. Um, this is like a black coated canvas, um, and it has like this cool like superhero print on there. Gold hardware. There's a Stella McCartney little thing right there. It's just black on the back. And this will also come ah, with the Stella McCartney dust bag inside of there. And for whatever reason, it has Michael Kors um, <laughs> stuffing inside. But that'll also come with it just so that the inside is nice. And it has a black fiber or black microfiber lining. It's the one pocket in there. This is in really great shape. It honestly looks like it's in like new condition. The only um, thing that shows anywhere is that there are just like light marks on that hardware on there. Other than that, though, really, really great shape. Oh, Lady Badger. I think it's really popular here on the East Coast. They have like actual stores that's just these candies. There's actually one in my neighborhood, which is crazy. It's like right next to the grocery store. They have like a freestanding Seas candy and they have them at a lot of the malls, too. <gasps> was it really crowded, Rachel? I feel like everyone was like, oh, there's not going to be anyone here, so we're going to go. Marjorie, my foot is 8.5. Okay, Marjorie, let me 
see if I can measure the shoe. Let's see how long it is. Okay, well, from end to end, it's about a little under nine and a half. So it's about nine and a half from the very tip to the end of the shoe. So I don't know if you have like a measuring tape or something and you could maybe measure one of the shoes that you wear and see, but I don't, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't know if it's going to fit you, unfortunately. Okay, so the number 11, this is our black Stella McCartney pouch with dust bag with superhero motif. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $115 for our Stella McCartney. That's going to be item number 11. I also still have the... Wait, do I still have the star one? Yeah, I also have the star pouch as well. So it has like the the velvet, the velvet stars on it. So I have that one still also, if anyone's interested in that one. And that's number 11, or Stella McCartney. Perfect, Ariella. Okay. So also comes with that, that dust bag. Set it there. And we'll set this guy right over here. Little superhero pouch. All right, 12 is up next. And let's do... Oh, this one's a good one. Okay. This is a gorgeous black um, Dooney and Burke Florentine drawstring satchel bag. And the leather on this, you guys already know, this is like that Dooney Burke Florentine leather. It smells... So, so good. And it feels amazing. I love, like, this leather stitching detail along the bottom of the bag. It also does have the drawstring that has these little tassels on the end. Antique brass hardware. The crossbody strap is super cool, too. Because you can double up the strap or you can extend it. And then it becomes a crossbody as well. So you can wear this bag a couple different ways. And then when you open it up. You have this beautiful red interior lining inside of there. There's a oh, there's a little key fob right there. There's a zipper pocket and then like three open pockets on the inside. And it is nice and clean inside of there. There's a little there's a couple little pieces of black lint, but no pen marks or anything. So she is in fantastic condition. Like I said, you can wear it like a shoulder bag or as a crossbody, and it's a really, really great size. It also does have feet on the bottom as well. Look at that. Oh, it's stunning. Beautiful black Florentine leather. The California resident was about $25. Oh, Kathleen, it is very expensive. I was just there. <laughs> I don't even think you can buy, like, a meal for less than $25 right now. I feel like it's really expensive. Uh, so this is our black Dooney and Burke Florentine drawstring satchel with antique brass hardware. And how much is this one going to be, Vedrine? All right, let's do this one. I'm going to try to keep this one under 100 as well. So we're going to do $99 for you guys tonight for our Dooney and Burke uh, Drawstring Florentine Satchel, number 12. So that is $99. Item number 12. Okay. Ooh, up next, number 13. All right, so one more look before we go on to our next item beautiful bag I love all the details on it too really nice okay um, number 13 oh lucky number 13 okay this one is a really fun one this is my first time ever finding a Jonathan Anderson uh, bag. And if you guys don't know, Jonathan Anderson is actually the 
I don't know if he's like the the creative director, designer for um, Loewe. And this bag was one, like this style of his bag was like an it bag for a really, really long time. And I finally got one. This is so cute. It's in this really beautiful pink color. Um, it has like this like piercing detail. I think it's called the Pierce bag or something. Uh, gold hardware. It's a nice like little flat bag. You can actually remove the crossbody strap and then just use this as like a little evening clutch too, which makes it fantastic. Um, this chain is also very, very nice. Like it is luxurious feeling and it's a really nice weight as well. And then when you open it up, you have a suede leather interior. There's just one interior pocket inside, but it's nice and clean on the interior and it actually opens up pretty big too so you can actually fit a lot of stuff in here um because it's even though it's small it kind of has that accordion kind of style to it so it will expand once you put stuff inside or it'll stay nice and flat like this and you can just carry it like a little clutch as well but it's such a cute bag i'm yeah so excited to have gotten one for you guys um the leather is in pretty good shape. I don't really see any um, marks to it. I think this is the only thing. There's a, there's a little a little scratch right there. Can you see it's kind of like an indentation? It's not like super obvious, but just know that that is there. And oh, this is a little slight discoloration just right there. Do you see it's like it's like a little bit lighter? right there and this is underneath that top flap so but that is pretty much it uh so this is gonna be item number 13 lucky number 13 our jonathan anderson or jw anderson well his name is jonathan but it the brand is jw anderson uh pink pierce bag with gold hardware Look how cute this looks. And then crossbody, so fantastic. Um, this one we're gonna do for, what do you say, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do uh, exactly 300 on this guy. So $300 for our Jonathan, a John JW Anderson bag. Okay, so that's gonna be, Number 13. These bags are so cute. And I know like the resale of these is um, normally a lot higher too. So great price, I think, for this bag. So cute. I think I really like the size too. Like the larger ones, I feel like are really big. This one will, I think, fit your iPhone too. Oh yeah. iPhone fits inside perfectly with like tons of room to spare too. Like I said, it does expand. So you can actually fit a lot inside here. Our next item is gonna be item number 14. And what do we got for 14? Let's see. I buy up there. Oh, let's do this one. Okay, number 14 is this. Uh, this is a black, Coach hobo bag in black pebbled leather. It's in really great shape. This is a newer style too. It has this like cool buckle shorter shoulder strap. And then we have the crossbody strap that is removable and adjustable. And then there's one back zipper pocket right here, large enough to fit your iPhone. Zipper works really well. And then the top does zip all the way across the top. It has a little, um, like tassel right here and then also does still have the original coach hang tag as well oh perfect there you go yeah veronica will ship out to you guys for a separate shipping fee okay and then when you open it up it looks like this on the interior nice and clean um, there's one zipper pocket in there and then two open pockets. 
And it's, yeah. The bag is in really great condition. There's no rubbing on the corner. The leather looks fantastic. Um, that's what the bottom looks like. And like I said, I really like this little buckle detail right here. I think that's really nice. And there we go. That is going to be item number 14. Our black coach hobo shoulder bag with gold hardware and crossbody strap with belted um, short strap details. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this guy for, mm, let's do $85. $85 for this guy, that's going to be item number 14. And... Hi, Jean! Oh, Value Village! Are you finding anything good? So cute, right? Okay, so this is our Black Coach Hobo. Then up next... Oh, let's do this one. This one is so cute. Okay, this is a basket Michael Kors little bag. I know, like, it's not, like, the current season style because it's, like, colder now. But it's such a cute bag. I had to pick it up. I love the little basket woven bottom portion. And then the top flap and the straps or everything are in brown leather. There is a little bit of, um, this is the edge coating right here that's kind of like been a little bit damaged and there's a little scratch right there as well. Um, the woven like natural fiber portion of the bag is in really great shape. Um, there's gold hardware. There's also this little mark right here as well on the strap. And the interior, you squeeze the hardware like that, and inside looks like this. There's one open pocket, and then there's a zipper pocket on the other side. And it does come with like a little Michael Kors care booklet inside of there. And the interior is nice and clean, and this will fit your phone really well. And will it fit like a full size wallet? Oh, it fits a full size wallet also. Oh, there's nothing there. I'm sorry. Okay, and this is going to be item number 15, I think. 15. Michael Kors basket bag with brown leather trim and gold hardware. And this one's going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $45. It does have some wear to it but I feel like it has so much life still and it's such a cute bag okay up next number 16 so cute it also does have like this little clochette right here with the key and I think it will actually lock this Oh, my sister's keeper is calling it. Congratulations, my sister's keeper. Number 15, it's going to you. Beautiful. Congratulations. Such a fun bag. Okay. Uh, 16 is going to be... Mmm, let's do this, guy. You guys already know how much I love these bags. I always call them the Lorelai Gilmore bags from Gilmore Girls. But this is a Marc Jacobs collection, um, like, top handle bag. It's very similar in shape to the Louis Vuitton Alma. And it is made of this beautiful, like, medium brown toned leather gold hardware. It also does have, which I think is really cool, is the edge coating is in like this khaki green. I love the combo of the brown and the green and the gold. I feel like that looks really, really nice together. It has these little uh, belted details on the side. And this is a little flap pocket right here. You push this down and it opens up the top flap. So it looks like that on the inside. And then there's also a separate um, zipper.
pocket here above it, right there. And then the interior of the bag, um, it does have like a little stain at the bottom. It's like brown. I don't exactly know what it is, but it is at the very bottom of the bag. I don't know if it's showing up. Can you kind of see it right there? Um, there's one interior zipper pocket. And these bags are made in Italy. I believe this bag retailed for around $800, um, brand new when it was in the store. And this line is actually discontinued. So um, does it have rings for a crossbody? Oh, my scissors keeper, I can, yeah. Um, Rachel, it doesn't have like actual rings for the crossbody. This one is pretty much just like the top handles, but it does have the rings that the top handles are attached to. So you can just attach a strap onto the front and the strap on the other, on the rear, um, other side of the bag. And then you can wear it as a crossbody bag. So you can definitely do that. Um, and this one is going to be number 16. This is our brown Mark Jacobs collection. Domed bag with gold hardware. Made in Italy. And this guy we're going to do for $85. Again, this is like an almost like an $800 purse, like retail price. So really Really good deal on that one, $85. And up next, oh, Lady Badger's calling it. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Yay. Are you a Gilmore Girls? You're a Gilmore Girls fan too, right? We love Gilmore Girls. It's Mom and I's favorite show. Lady Badger. I still haven't finished watching. Like, you know how they did... Um, they did like a new, like that last season on, is it Netflix of Gilmore Girls? Like they brought it back for like one season and I still haven't finished watching all the episodes because I don't want it to end. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Okay, congratulations again, Lady Badger. That bag is gorgeous. And we're going to go to item number 17 next. And, oh, let's do this guy. Okay. I have a beautiful, large Brahmin bag. This one is super fun because it has a really beautiful print on it. And it's in this blue and green. And then it has brown leather trim. We have our little Brahmin um, charm right here on the front. It also does have little snaps on the side to kind of like hold the like hold the sides closed. But it also has a magnetic snap here at the top. Um, but you can like undo the little um, the little button so that way you can like have more space in the bag if you wanted. And then when you go into the bag, it looks like this. It's a microfiber lining. There's a large large back pocket right here. You can actually fit. Um, like a laptop back there, like a 13 inch MacBook Pro would fit really nicely and it zips all the way shut. And then on the other side, there's a, another pretty good size zipper compartment. There's two open pockets underneath, two pen pockets, a key fob holder, and there are a couple like little stains on the bottom. I tried to remove them, but there's, um, still like a little bit of a shadow there. You can see that on the bottom corner uh, but otherwise the interior is nice and clean there's no like other pen marks or anything like that there's just that kind of like a little stain at the very bottom and it is a beautiful bag there are also feet on the bottom and it's in this brown leather down there hi Rachel Package from Adrian. You know, that's been happening with um, with UPS, USPS. It'll say that it's going to arrive one day and it doesn't arrive till the next day or like the day after. Like, it's really weird. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's just been a lot of like shipment issues during this time of year. Everything gets crazy, especially because there's a lot of like pre Black Friday sales, too. So there's a lot of craziness right now. Also, the weather has been nuts. I feel like it when it rains, like where I am, even like the mail become super slow <laughs> so I don't know what it is like that um that tea just came today and it was yeah it took forever to get here but it was worth the wait because it was delicious 
And that was from Amazon, too. So this is our blue and green Brahmin tote bag um, with dark brown leather trim and brass hardware. Exactly, Brit, right? Okay, we're going to do this guy for 105 Ugh, Tanya, I know. I'm sorry about that. I'm still trying, I'm still waiting to hear back from them. I think, um, I forgot what day it was where it was going to be that 15 days or whatever. They're like really weird about having to wait those exact amount of days before like they're going to give you a final verdict. Um, hi Gem Drops, how are you? I know Style Chat, it's crazy right now. Okay, uh, so that was number 17. And up next, we're going to continue on 18. Uh, da -da -da -da. Also, if you guys haven't entered our giveaway, my question is right here. Again, thanks to Anne for our question. What are you most grateful for? I'm going to leave that link um, in the live chat right now. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And tonight we're giving away a really cute anthropology pouch by Miss Albright. B for Bestie. Right? And that is our giveaway. And let's continue on. We're going to go to 18. My gosh, it's only 6.30, but it feels like it's so late because it's so dark outside. The daylight savings time is always messing me up. Like, <laughs> I'm like, why is it so dark already? I don't like being out when it's dark, too. So I, I always want to, like, be home and inside when the sun sets. Because I'm like a... I think I talked to you guys about this before. I'm like a reverse vampire. I don't like to be outside when it's not sunny. <laughs> or when the sun's not out. Don't like it one bit. Okay, our next item, though, is going to be this beautiful coach wallet i am obsessed with this guy it's in this beautiful like ox blood color um i really like this cool like hardware that it has right there too and it's like this red it looks like a stone but i don't know if it's necessarily a stone i think it's just like um i think it's just kind of like printed on or something you know how they do that so i don't think it's like a real stone but it's really cute I love this style of the wallet, too. This is a newer style. <gasps> Tiffany! How are you, Tiffany? Tiffany, I can't wait to see you for Thanksgiving. I hope that's the Tiffany I think this is. <laughs> Tiffany, I'm a huge fan of you. Yeah, I think that's, that's the Tiffany that I know. <gasps> boots that would be so fun i would love to see the northern lights too okay sorry about that this is our wallet there's the back there's no pockets or anything back there it has a little snap um closure right there and then when you open it up there's a little pocket here in the front and then the interior is in this gorgeous hold on let me get this open I know, it's going to be so much fun. Another year of togetherness at Thanksgiving. It's in this beautiful oxblood smooth leather. It's super duper soft. Um, there are like indentations though, like right here. From, unfortunately when they had it like displayed, it was like kind of clipped up. So... The clip kind of like left indentations there. I'm hoping that eventually they'll go away completely. They have gone away considerably. It was it was a lot deeper. But um, just know that that's there. Um, hold on. I think I can clean this part right here. I think that's just like a superficial mark. Oh, yeah. Okay. Other than kind of like that indentation right there, though, the rest of the wallet is in... Great shape. That's how it looks. I was able to clean off that mark. There's a zipper change pocket right here. 
as well. It's nice and clean on the inside. Lots of card slots. Um, I think, let me see if the phone will fit in here and you can still close it. Okay. If you have an iPhone mini, you can fit it into there and it'll probably close, but not with my phone. It does not close. But such a gorgeous wallet. Hi, Norma. How are you? And this is going to be our next item. Oh, and the snap works really well, too. Like, the snap closure. This is uh, our Oxblood Pebbled Leather Coach Wallet with Antique Brass Hardware. Okay, we're going to do this guy for $60. And this also is a newer style to you guys. Is it the Tabby style wallet or something, right? Tabby? Featuring? I think it's called like the Tabby wallet or something. But that's number 18 for $60. Gorgeous. Okay, number 19 is up next. And let's do also hi gem drops. How are you? Oh, you guys, okay. I have this black Versace wallet or Versace wallet, Versace belt. Oh, Lady Badger's calling 18. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Yay! That's going to you. Uh, okay, Versace belt. Look at the buckle. It's like a gunmetal color. So it's like not like a regular light silver. It's like a gunmetal. It's like a darker um, silver. The Medusa head looks super cool. And this is a Safiano leather in black. And this is a size 32. Yeah. So here's all the stamping and all that goodness stuff. So. There's like the Versace stamping right there, and then the size and all like the other stuff stamping is right there. So it's a size 32. Unfortunately, it is too small for me. Um, and then it also has like the embossing. I can't really show it that easily on in the camera, but it says me in Italy, Versace, like all that stuff is uh, embossed on the back. And it's a really gorgeous belt. Hold on, let me see how it goes. Ah, right here. I'm so sad this belt doesn't fit me. Otherwise, like, I would definitely keep it. But, unfortunately, it's a little too small. And this is our black Safiano leather Versace belt with gunmetal colored hardware. Size 32, and this is uh, how much, Peter? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $90. And the 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 belt's in really great shape. Um, there's just like minor like marks on like the hardware. It's nothing too crazy. And then the leather is in pretty good shape too. Okay, so that's number 19 for our Versace belt. Then we're going to go to 20. Oh, what number do you guys want to end at tonight? Do you guys want to do like 25, 30? I think, I feel like we've been doing like 30 recently. I definitely have enough items for that if you guys wanted to go on till then. Uh, oh, let me do this. I still have this awesome Levi's hoodie. And it has like the rainbow embroidery on it. It says Levi Strauss. And it also has the, the embroidery on the sleeve as well, just on the left sleeve. And it's in this like cream off-white color. And this is a size medium. Super cute. Yeah, this is definitely like a good size. Tanya says 30. All right, we'll go to 30. So this is our... A uh, cream Levi's hoodie with a rainbow embroidery. 
Yeah, we did. But I don't remember how much we did it for. Do you remember? Okay, this one's going to be $25. And the hoodie's in great shape. Uh, that's going to be item number 20. Or number... Oh, did I skip 19? Oh, no, that was the belt. No, I'm right. Okay. Where's our... Okay, so 21 is up next. Oh, Don's called number 20. Congratulations, Don. <laughs> Yay, a belt for Don. Congratulations, such a cute belt. Let's put that guy over there. Um, gem drops, no. I think it just, no, you can't like, rem you can't like change it out, unfortunately. It's kind of just, on there. Okay. Um, oh, no, that was number 20. Sorry, I got the wrong item. You got the hoodie. <laughs> Just kidding. You got the hoodie. Congratulations, Don. I was looking at the wrong number. The hoodie is great, too, though. I love the hoodie. I think it's super cute. Oh, right. Up next, number 21. Such a great hoodie. Love it. Yay! Uh, our next item I have is going to be... Let's do... Oh, this one's so cute. Okay, this is a cute little um, coach satchel, and it's like a double zip, so there's two zippered compartments. It has like this little dome shape. It does have a back pocket right there. It's in the brown monogram canvas. It has a little coach hang tag right there. Uh, this strap, I think I put inside. Ah, yeah. So it does have a black leather strap as well, so you can attach that. Make it a little crossbody. The crossbody strap also is adjustable as well. Um, in the back compartment, it has one interior pocket. And then on the front, it's just like open by itself. So just a little linty in there. I just got to vacuum that out. But yeah, the bag is in great shape. I love the silhouette of this guy too. And this is in the brown monogram canvas with black leather trim. All right, so this is our brown monogram coach um, small domed crossbody bag. Oh, no. I'll call it a satchel. Satchel with black leather trim and brass hardware. And this one was how much, Vadrian? Um, also, the phone like will fit inside of here perfectly. So tons of room. And this does the compartments are separate, so they don't go into the same compartment. They're um, separated. And all the zippers work really well too. Oh, and this is what the bottom looks like. Okay, we're gonna do this guy for just eighty dollars. So it's gonna be item number twenty-one, and here we go. Super duper cute. I love the size of this too. It's like a little cute little size. All right, up next, we're gonna go to twenty-two. All right, it's 22. Oh, I was gonna clean this, hold on a second. Our next item, this is actually a little fossil crossbody bag in black leather. And I just had like, I don't know what it got on there, but I know this is gonna come off. Uh, I have to let it sit. Okay, we're gonna show this afterwards. I'm just gonna let the cleaner sit on there because I know it needs to soften up whatever that is that stained it. I'm just going to 
leave that on there for a second. Let's go onto another item first while uh, I wait for that to percolate. And we shall do... Oh, I have this still. Okay, so I have this Kate Spade. Kathleen, I wish I could too. I literally love small, tiny bags, but I have to have like a larger bag with me to carry all my other stuff that I can't fit because I have like a panic attack if I don't have it with me. Um, this is a Kate Spade wristlet wallet. It does have a little wristlet right here that is removable as well. And it's in this uh, beautiful croc embossed tan leather. There is a back pocket right there as well. And then when you open this guy up, um, it looks like this. It has some built-in card slots right up there and more card slots. There's a pocket and then a zipper coin pocket right there. And it's nice and clean inside of there too, inside that zipper change pocket. Um, another pocket in the front and then more card slots. So this literally will hold a gazillion cards. There's a little like red mark right there. Um, I wasn't able to remove all of it but uh, it is considerably lighter, so just know that that's there. And there is just a little bit of damage right here. There's uh, some of the stitching has kind of like pulled the leather right there. So um, that's, yeah. We will reinforce it though before we send it out, like we'll reinforce it with glue so that it'll, it, it won't like rip any further, but just know that that is there on that side. The other side is like totally fine. So it's just that one corner. Um, yeah. So really cute wallet. He shares that. <laughs> Tanya. We should have a what's in your bag. Boots. <laughs> well, you're not talking about me, right? <laughs> you guys don't want to see what's inside, but I have so much stuff. Okay, so this is our... Um, Tan brown croc embossed patent Kate Spade wallet wristlet with um, gold hardware. Okay, and this one, we're just going to do this guy for $35. Again, we will, like, reinforce that, um, like, the leather that has kind of, like, torn a little bit with glue. Um, but, yeah, $35. That's item number 22 for our Kate Spade. And it will come also with that dust bag as well. We should all have a what's in our bag. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, remember when I said that we should do like a live what's in my bag? And I can do like, I can, um, fate, I can add someone into the live. And then we could do like a live what's in our bag. And then you guys can like watch live and like, comment and stuff i feel like that would be so much fun do you guys want to do that soon who wants to part who wants to be like the first participant of that um <laughs> kathleen i mean sometimes you need that right <laughs> but um if anyone wants to be the first participant of our live what's in your bag let me know all you need is uh i forgot what it is that you need what, Vedrain? Oh. Um, all you need is Skype, I believe is what it, the like this app uses. So I just need you to do like a Skype link. You can even just use your phone as long as you have like the Skype app on your phone. Um, you will pop up and then we can do like a live what's in my bag. So whoever wants to be the first participant, let me know. Oh, Lady Badger wants to do it. Lady Badger. Where do you want to do it? Do you guys want to do like a live what's in our bag like before one of the sales? Jean, um, I, Vadrian said they dropped it off today. So we'll send you that. Um, I, I emailed you back earlier, I think. We'll send you that, uh, what's it called? The tracking after the live ends. But Lady Badger, when did you want to do it? I think it would be so fun. We can do it this week too. We can do it like on Thursday or Friday, whenever you're free. Yeah, what was this? It is like coming off, but I feel like it was like something sticky, like 
coffee or something. Oh, it'd be fine. My sister's keeper. Yes, I feel like I have all of that minus the lip gloss. I just have um, chapstick, or I have my aquifer inside. I can't live without aquifer. I feel like my lips are literally so dependent on aquifer. Oh, Lady Badger, that's perfect. Okay, um, Thursday the sale is supposed is set at eleven a.m. Um, that's Pacific time. So if you're free at eleven a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we could do it on Thursday. Do you want to do it on Thursday? I think that would be so much fun. Yeah, DG House. Oh my gosh, we should do that. We can do like, um, we can do it like once a week or every other week or something. Like, and it doesn't even have to be like handbags. We can do whatever. Or like, you can show off like the bag of the day that you're using or whatever. I think that would be so much fun. <laughs> Sarah, same. Literally, I always have this giant tote with me, and it's just, like, full of stuff. And this tote actually has another tote inside of it, just in case it's, like, raining or something, because I don't want this one to get, like, wet. Oh, perfect! All right, you guys. Lady Badger is going to be our first participant of our what's of our live What's in Our Bag before the sale on Thursday. So you guys got to be there, okay? It's going to be at, on Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, so this is um, the fossil bag. I was just cleaning it off. It had, like, I don't know what it was, like, milk or coffee or something. But it's a black pebbled leather. And then the top flap right here for this front pocket, this is actually a smooth leather. And then it has brass hardware. So when you flip this open, it's a nice little compartment inside. And then it has another zipper compartment in the back. And then we have a little key charm, the little fossil key charm right there. There's another zippered compartment in the back. This has so many compartments. Like, honestly, it's amazing. And then the interior, it has a zippered compartment right there and then two open pockets underneath. And the interior is nice and clean. It just has that black lining. And the crossbody strap um, is adjustable. And all the zippers work really nicely. Yeah. So, great little bag it's a good size too and i believe the phone will fit oh yeah it fits in either the front pocket or the back zipper pocket it'll fit so wherever you want um lady badger actually let me check and see what this app uses what do you use again because i don't remember uh Oh my gosh, I don't remember what it uses anymore. Where is, oh, here it is, preferences. Interview mode. Um, yeah, Lady Badger, I think it's Zoom, but I'll let you know for sure um, afterwards. I need to, like, go in and, rem and, like, see where the link thing is. But I'm pretty sure it's it's either Zoom or, um, what's the other one that I said? Peter? Skype. It's either Zoom or Skype. Okay, so this is going to be... <laughs> Boots. <laughs> you guys to start meeting Thursday on Zoom and send us a link. <gasps> oh, no, Boots, I don't need to send you guys a link. Like, um... It'll be here in the live, in like in this, like right here. Like I, oh, Lady Badger will just pop up right here with me. So we'll just like divide the screen down and then we'll be on either side and she'll be right here. So we don't need like an actual Skype or any, like we, you guys don't need it. Um, just Lady Badger is going to need it so that she can hop on the live and then she'll be right there with you guys. Oh, Lady Badger, super easy. Um, we'll figure it out. 
um, after this. Like, I'll, I'll let you know. As long as you know how to, like, accept the phone call, like, that's or the Zoom call or whatever, like, you'll be good to go. You don't have to do anything on your end. Okay. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay, what number are we on? 23. Okay, this is 23. Black fossil crossbody bag. And this one's just going to be $35. This one is in great shape. I was able to remove that mark. Nothing on there. It's in really, really great shape. All the corners are really good as well. Um, hi, Maria. How are you? Oh, Veronica's calling it. Veronica's calling number 23. Congratulations, Veronica. I'll even brush my <laughs> lady badger. Same. I will also brush my hair, too. <laughs> Okay, congratulations. Um, let's continue on. Do, do, do. Sorry, I need to just figure out my notes. All right, 24 is up next. I'm so excited, Lady Badger. Yay! Our next item is going to be this beautiful black um, Mark by Marc Jacobs crossbody bag. I believe this is called the Natasha, and this is in the small size. So this is the one that's a little, like, this um, This is the second smallest size. There's another size smaller than this one, but this one's adorable. I love this one. This is in black pebbled leather. This is in um, really great condition. It's in, like, new condition. Um, all the hardware looks really, really nice. Bottom. This is a zippered compartment. So this actually opens up and goes all the way into the back of the bag. So, like, look at this. Like, it literally, like, I can put my arm almost to my elbow inside of there. So, a great compartment. And then the main compartment of the bag is underneath that top flap. And there's a zipper pocket inside of there. And then there's two open pockets on the other. I'm sorry, it's so hard to show you guys. The, um, but it's super duper clean inside and out. The leather and the fabric lining, great shape. This will fit your cell phone inside perfectly. The large iPhone fits inside really, really nicely. And the crossbody strap is adjustable and it is removable. And you can just use this as a clutch too if you wanted. And this is going to be item number 24. Hairbrush and comb and mirror. <laughs> um, Carmen, not, I don't have anything new that you haven't seen already, unfortunately. The only new pair of sunglasses that I had were those Chanel ones. But I'll keep a lookout for it. Um, how long is it across? Let me check, Gail. Okay. Um, from the opening at the top flap, it's 8 inches. And then... This is 10 inches across at the longest part. Um, so, style chat, yes. This is the smaller version of the one that you got. You got, like, the medium size version, which is, like, the standard version that I think most people know. And then this is the smaller one than that, and then there's even an, a smaller version than that one. And this, the one that's smaller than this one doesn't have the zipper up at the top. It's just, like, a top flap. Okay, um, so this is number 24. This is our black, small... Mark by Mark Jacobs, Natasha, crossbody, leather, and, and uh, antique press hardware. Okay. You're welcome, Gail. Okay, this one we're going to do for $70. This one is in like new condition it's in really good shape that's going to be number 24 for 70 dollars um oh and this also is the style that are uh, not the style but like this collection um which is part of yeah he re-released this like mark my mark jacobs he re-released this series so it's a really cool and this is the newer version too that has like the thicker strap as well and in a really really great shape so that's item number 24. 
25 is up next. And I always forget that I have this still, so I'm going to show it to you guys right now before I forget again. Oh, Gail's calling it number 24. Congratulations, Gail. Yay. Gail, is this your first purchase? If it is, just make sure to send me an email right there, and we can send you over an invoice at the end of tonight's live. And we just got, I think we have just six more items to go, and then we're going to be announcing our giveaway winner tonight for our anthropology little pouch. And I will actually pop up the link again one more time for the giveaway. So if you guys have not had a chance to enter, there is the link. Go ahead and leave your answer to tonight's giveaway question there. And then uh, at the end of tonight's live, like I said, we're going to be announcing our winner. 25 is going to be this um, extra large Kuyana tote bag. It's in black um, canvas and then black leather straps. Um, <laughs> it just says Kuyana right here on the strap in gold. And it does also have like these little magnetic snaps on the side. So you can have the bag kind of closed like this or you can open it up and expand the bag. So you can wear the bag kind of like open like this or closed up. And the interior has a zipper compartment in the back right there. And then two open compartments on the other. And it has like this, these two leather pieces right here and you can tie it up in the middle to kind of keep the bag closed up a little bit more when you are carrying it. But it's a great extra large tote bag. I know it's only seven. Oh, Gail, I'm very excited for you, too. Thank you so much for your first purchase and for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Okay, so this is our black Kuyana canvas and leather tote bag with gold hardware. And this guy is going to be 125 for our Kuyana. Right? It feels super late. It's literally only 7 a.m. It's crazy. I haven't even had dinner yet. I'm going to eat dinner right after this, though. I'm starving. But that tea was so good. Mmm. I actually kind of want to have another one. Because it was really delicious. Okay. Up next. I'm just going to do a bunch of bags now. Um... You know, I'll do more shoes and clothing next time. Our next item, this is a Fry crossbody bag, and it's in this really great distressed tan leather. Ugh, I love the leather on this. It looks so, so good. I love a distressed leather bag, and it has a great large front pocket, perfect for your cell phone. It has the antique brass hardware. We have this uh, leather zipper pull right here. Leather, or the, the zipper works really, really well. The interior just has like this striped lining inside and there's one zipper compartment right inside of there. Sorry, it's like hard to show you guys the inside. And it's nice and clean on the inside. The crossbody strap also is adjustable. So you can adjust the strap length. And yeah, it's just a great everyday crossbody bag. A great size. You can fit a lot inside of here. There's the back, there's the bottom, the corners. All right, there you go. And that is item number 26. This is our tan leather. Oh, Mrs. Lady J. Roy, how are you? Tan leather fry crossbody bag with antique brass hardware. Okay, and we're gonna do this guy for $40. That's gonna be item number 26. And that's our Fry Tan Crossbody Bag. All right. Um, on to 27. I'm doing well, Miss Lady J. Roy. Thank you for joining us tonight. 
Oh, this is Miss Lady J. Roy. Don't forget to enter our giveaway, okay? It is right there. I'm going to leave that link for you um, up top really quickly. There you go. Head over to the, that video. Leave your answer in the comments. And at the end of tonight's live sale, we're announcing our winner for this anthropology pouch right here. It has a bejeweled letter B for my bestie. And that is tonight's giveaway. And 27, we got a couple more items left. And we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna do this guy. This is a beautiful Claire Vivier um, satchel. I really like this style. This is um, in a great suede leather and it's in this gray. The top handle is in a regular smooth leather and then the crossbody strap is in a smooth black leather. And then it has brass hardware. It has a, a gray leather pocket here in the front and it's perfect for your cell phone to just pop in right there. And I think it's really cute, right? I love that. The bottom looks like this. Here's the back. Like the suede is in really great shape and it feels just like really, really nice. And then the interior is in the chambray that Claire Vivier does inside all of her bags. There's a zipper pocket in the back and then two open pockets down below. Interior lining is in great shape and all of her bags are made here in California, all her um, leather goods and stuff, which is fantastic. And then it has two um, zipper pulls and they both work really, really nicely. And this is gonna be number 27. Put that back inside there. Our gray suede and leather Claire Vivier um, satchel with black leather strap and brass hardware. And this is how much we doing? All right, we're gonna do this one for $95, and that's gonna be number 27 for our gray Claire Vivier. And again, it's in suede um, leather and then also a smooth leather. All right, up next, we're gonna to go to 28. Isn't this bag beautiful? I love that front pocket. Oh, Cindy's calling it. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay. Oh, Cindy, can you also check? Um, I know you DM'd me on Instagram and I saw it late, but I replied to you. So let me know um, about that. So just check your, um, your Instagram. All right, so congratulations, Cindy, on that one. Up next, we're gonna go to 28 and 28, 28. Oh, okay. We gotta do this one. This is another um, Marc Jacobs collection bag. And it is so, so cute. And it is in this like really nice black leather. And it's in like a, like a smooth leather. Like it has like a very small, like a finer grain to it. And it's like, beautiful and like glossy looking. It's really pretty. It's not like a patent or anything. It, that's just like the leather. Like it's just so like supple and amazing. And it's a thicker leather too, which is really nice. There's two front zipper pockets right here. And the zippers are actually pockets. So they're just not, like, they're not just decorative. So you can actually open them up and put stuff inside of them. And then the main compartment of the bag um, opens up like this. So it's like closed, opens up, has a little magnetic snap at the top there. And then interior is in like this tan beige fabric lining. There's one zipper pocket back there and then one like vintage cell phone pocket on the side. Um, there's a slight discoloration in the interior, um, mostly along the top by like where the zipper is right there. Uh, but still in great shape. There's that. I think also the original owner of this bag um, dyed it black. It used to be white. 
you can see that right here where they didn't completely finish um, dyeing it because they didn't want to dye the fabric. So um, I can actually fix that up before we send it out. Like I'll paint it so that it's um, all black, but just know that it used to be white. It was painted black. Um, and this was made in Italy. So this probably retailed for about like $700 um, at the store. But yeah, it's a great shoulder bag. It's so cute. Like this is the size of it. It's a really good size. Don't look at my really bad farmer's tan. Um, it does look like a motorcycle jacket, right? Style chat. Okay, so this is going to be item number 28. And also the person that like dyed it, um, dyed this bag, they did a good job. Like it looks really, really good. So kudos to them for a job well done. They just didn't go all the way like into the interior. But I'm pretty sure that they were just scared of getting the liner, like the lining um, died so that's always kind of scary um, but I will fix it before we send it out to you so this is our black mark Jacobs it's not technically a black bag Don it's it's a black bag that was formerly known by a different color <laughs> but my Jacobs collection um, shoulder bag with um, gold hardware All right, and this guy is going to be $70. That's going to be item number 28 for our Marc Jacobs. Again, this is a Marc Jacobs collection, guys. Marc Jacobs collection bag. Um, then 29 will be up next. But isn't it so cute? Like, I love the style of it. When I was, like, when I bought it, like, the gal that was ringing me up was like, that is such a cute bag. She said she almost bought it. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. Uh, 29 is going to be this Burberry Beauty. This is a Burberry, um, like, a nylon tote bag. And it's just in this gray checker print. And then it has black leather trim and then gunmetal hardware. It also has, like, a leather piece at the bottom of the bag. The fabric is in pretty good shape. I mean, there's just, like, regular signs of wear on there. Um, it's what the back looks like. It's a little bit more, like, wrinkled in the back. But still looks really good. There's also these little drawstrings on the side that you can pull if you wanted to, like, cinch up the bag a little bit more. But it does have a zipper across the top. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. And right, Donna, it is a really cute bag. It does zip across the top, which is really nice. And then the interior is just in this um, black. Nylon lining, there's just one interior um, zipper pocket, which is right here. And it also does come with all of like the Burberry card information and stuff. It even comes with the original um, tag. This bag retails for $345. And it even has like, I don't know if this came with it originally, but it's like a cute little leather like holder. You can use this as a card case and then just like throw your cards in there or business cards or whatever. So I don't know. I think it's really cute. I'm going to keep it with the bag. But right now it just has all of the little um, cards inside of it. And yeah, it's just a really great tote. And this is number 29. This is our black and gray uh, Burberry nylon checkered tote bag with black leather trim and gunmetal colored hardware. And this guy is going to be that first one. Okay, we're going to do this one for $160, and that's going to be item number 29. Second to last item of the evening. Mm -hmm. All right, and our last item is going to be item number 30. Okay, so here is the Burberry Toad one more time. 
The strap length is really great too. So it's really nicely on your shoulder. This will hold a ton as well. Um, oh, Gem Drops is call number 23, I think. Gem Drops. Um, that was the Black Fossil crossbody. Oh, that one's already been... If that was the one you were calling, um, Gem Drops, number 23 was already claimed by Veronica. But, um, just confirm, let me know, just make sure. Alright, so, that was that guy. And then our last item for the evening. Oh, I forgot to... Fix this guy. I wanted to reattach this piece. Anyway, we'll just leave it like this. Uh, wait, is that something? Oh no, there's not anything in there. Okay. All right, our last item for the evening is this is a Mew Mew satchel. Um, when I first saw it, I thought it was like a, a mulberry, but this is Mew Mew, and it's in this amazing gray leather like i wish you guys could feel this leather it feels so 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 nice um it's a gray pebbled leather with gold hardware there's the bottom and it says mew mew right there on the side it also says it right there on the hard on the my cursor was in the chat oh no worries gem drops it's okay and that has a little turn lock it also says um mew mew on the turn lock right there as well and then when you pop this open it does have the dust bag inside so this will come with the original dust bag and the interior is lined in suede so it's just the underside of the exterior leather so this is like a testament to how great the leather is because this is all just like a one piece of leather like inside and out and it's like it's amazing it feels really really good there's only one zippered compartment in the back right there isn't it so cute and it's such a beautiful bag and this is gonna be item number 30 this is the last item for the evening oh and here's the bottom it does have little feet um the Corners are in good shape. This one just has the most kind of like discolorations right there. The other corners are um, pretty good though. Just that one corner had more wear than the other ones. There's that side right there. Marjorie, how are the corners on 29? Um, corners are good. The fabric is in good shape. There's no like um, thinning of the fabric on the corners at all. They all look really, really good. And the leather piece on the bottom looks really good, too. Good night, Style Chat! And, yeah, so, that's this guy. This is number 30. This is our gray Mew Mew leather satchel with gold hardware and dust bag. And this one's going to be how much, Fadrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $225. And that's going to be number 30. Oh, Terry, you might have to, like, just reset or, like, go in and go out and then come back in. And that is our last item for the evening. Our Mew Mew Satchel for $225. And Great price, right? I think that's such a good price on this. Uh, Mrs. Lady J. Roy. Um, the only Tory Burch that I have is this little Tory Burch crossbody. This one right here. This is like a little mini um, Tory Burch crossbody. It has, it comes with the original tag. It's just tucked inside this little flap. Um, little Tory Burch logo is embroidered right there. And then, but it's, this is like a little mini bag though. Oh, um, Gail, just, uh, it's PayPal. So, um, I'll just, I'm just gonna 
email you the PayPal invoice, and then you can pay it right there. Uh, but yeah, this is the only Tory Burch I have. Oh, I also have this little guy, too. But I only have, like, little mini Tory Burches right now. I don't have anything larger. So these are the only ones I have right now. All right, but that is actually going to round out our sale for the night. This pack is so good. Crossbody strap also is adjustable and it is removable. It's a great size. Uh, Mrs. Lady J. Oh, the Vadrian, how much was the quilted Tory Birch, the little one? Let me just add the prices for these really quickly. Um, Periwinkle. Uh, Marjorie. Yeah, that's totally fine. We'll just send you the invoices already just so that they're sent out. And then you can just pay them whenever you can on Friday. That's no worries. And that was number eight was the Tory Birch Shields. And then 29 for the Burberry Nylon Tote Bag. Congratulations. Oh, and it looks like Lady Badger is calling number 30. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Number 30 is going to you. Yay! All right, let me just make sure to mark all these sold. Okay, um, let me, hold on, Lady Badger, and then Marjorie Schultz, number 29, hold on, I just want to get these, um, I'll, I'm going to put the prices for the Tories in just one second, guys, sorry, I just wanted to make sure I get these down really quickly, okay, that's that one. And our Burberry, and then it was number eight was the black Tory Burch. And those are these guys. Perfect. Okay, and then number 31 is our Periwinkle Quilted Tory Burch Mini. I think it's called the Alexis. Alexis Crossbody with our Alexa. Alexa Crossbody. Oh my gosh, I cannot type with gold hardware and uh, this guy is going to be 120 and that's going to be number 31 really quick okay 20 so that's that guy uh, And then um, the other guy, okay, so this one is in like new condition. It's like, there's no marks on it. It looks really, really good. Oh, Marjorie, that's no problem. Don't worry about it. That's totally fine. You can pay on Friday. That's no worries at all. And then the other one, oh, there's this one. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Kathleen. I appreciate you. You're the best. Um, this is the other Tory Burch right here. This is in a navy. And it has a patent pink bow with the gold hardware. Crossbody strap also is removable. So you can kind of use this as a wallet as well. There um, are some marks right here. There's a sharp, like some Sharpie pen marks right there underneath. But the inside has three built-in card slots and it's nice and clean in there. So other than the Sharpie marks, this is in really, really great condition. And that's going to be our last item. That's going to be 32. Our navy blue Tory Birch. Did it? To who? Oh, did I not give it to you? Wait, hold on guys. I'm sorry, this one might have sold already. Vadrian is checking it out. I might have accidentally forgot to give it to them. Let me just check. And if anyone has any questions about anything too, just let me know. Um, I don't do no no. Oh wait, I do have another. Um, I do have another Tory Birch. While well, Vadrian is checking that really quickly. Um, we're just going to make sure that that hasn't sold to someone else. Ah! But, I totally forgot that I have this one. 
This one is a... It's just a tote bag, though. Right here. Um, it's a Tory Burch navy blue... Uh, this is a coated canvas, but it looks like it's like a patent. And it's just like a laser cut design. And this is kind of like what the design looks like. My hand like inside. So it's almost like a geometric diamond pattern. Um, and then this is what the bottom looks like. It's in really great shape. It also does have this large little luggage tag on here and it says, I'm lost without, and then you can put like your info on there. Um, but yeah, so we also have this as well. We'll do that one as 32. Um, I do have sunglasses. I don't know if you saw all the sunglasses that I have. Actually, let me show them really quickly to you, Bubble Tea Holic. Uh, this is our navy um, coated canvas. Oh, to who? To who? Oh, okay, it did sell. I'm sorry, you guys. I forgot to give it to Vadrian. I thought it didn't sell, so um, I'm sorry about that. The brown Tory tote. I'm passing. <gasps> oh, Cindy, I don't have it with me. I already gave it to Vadrian. Um, but yeah, we can totally pass on the on that brown Tory if you don't want it, and then we'll um, credit you to your other purchases. Um, the difference, if that makes sense, that like from that one. So, Vadrian, did you hear that? Yeah. So she's gonna pass on the brown Tory tote, and then okay. Yeah. All right, Cindy. So that's perfect. We're just going to credit you the, like, back for the bag for your other, towards your other items. And yeah, so that's no worries. Um, I will show that one if anyone's interested in, I'm probably not going to see Vadrian until this weekend. So Saturday night, I'll have that brown Tory back and then I'll show you guys. Oh, Kathleen. <laughs> never. Don't even worry about it. Uh, but how much was the navy um, toy birch? Like the the perforated tote. Okay, let's do a good price on this one. Um, I'm gonna do this one for sixty five dollars. It's number thirty two. Sixty five. And let me grab my sunglasses I have right here. Um, Bubble Tea Holic, I'll just show you what I have like really quickly. And if anything catches your eye, just let me know. Uh, but I think you might have seen most of what I have already. Cindy, don't be sorry. It's totally fine. <laughs> um, oh, Mrs. Lady J. Roy is calling number 32. Congratulations, Mrs. Lady J. Roy. Let me... Congrats. Okay, so that one is yours. That tote is awesome. Okay. Let me set this guy aside over there. Uh, okay, for sunglasses, I have... Okay, so I still have the Fendi... These are the Fendi Peekaboo sunglasses. It comes with, like, the... Um, the cards and like the little cleaning thing and the original case as well. And these are in a tortoise shell like that. Um, it has the little peekaboo hardware on the sides. There is a scratch right there though in the, on the lens. It's right there where my finger is. It's kind of like a little bit of like a lighter mark. So there's that. And then it's also missing one of the screws right here. Like the other screw is definitely doing a good job just holding it in, like holding the arm in place, but um, you can probably just get a replacement pretty easily for that. But this is, um, these are the Fendi Peekaboo sunglasses and they come with a red case. And then I also have, I have these, um, well, these aren't sunglasses, but I have these guys right here. These are just a clear lens. These are um, Oliver Peoples, and it's like black plastic, and then it has um, like a light gold rim, and then the arms are also in the light gold with like the black plastic at the ends. These don't have a prescription, but the 
lenses are a little cracked right there towards the end right there and then just a little thing right there but you can get these replaced and put your prescription in them mrs lady i can um ship them all together so you can save on shipping mrs lady j because i don't think we've shipped your items yet um but i don't think i'm going to be able to see vader until this weekend so your items are not going to ship until next week so if that's okay with you, we can definitely do that. You're just going to have to, um, if it's okay, just wait a little bit longer. Um, and unless I'm able to see Vadrian this week, but I don't think I'm going to be able to drop anything off this week, unfortunately. So unless it's like um, an item that they already have that they're shipping out or um, something that I have, then we can ship it out already. Um, but otherwise, I can't, we can't combine any of that shipping right now. But I um, have these... And then, oh, if anyone's interested in any of these glasses, too, just let me know. Um, these are prescription Ray-Ban um, Club Masters. They're sunglasses, but they have a prescription inside of them. So I have those, if anyone's interested. I have these David Yerman sunglasses. These don't have a prescription. Oh, thank you, Miss Lady J. Roy. Yeah, we will definitely um, add those along then. And that way you can save on shipping. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Donnie. Oh, plus we're having a bunch of sales this week, too. So we're having the sale, a sale Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And on the Friday sale is going to be the 11-11 sale. So I want to add some really cool, like, sale items for you guys. So um, hopefully you guys will see some really cool stuff. And if anything, that if you see it, stuff that you like. Um, this is Sterling Silver up at the top, which I think is cool. And this is in a uh, dark blue gray tortoise shell but hi miss donnie how are you and thank you so much <laughs> the black leather suede rebecca minkoff satchel um oh is it the one with that has the top flap laura and like the rest of it is just a regular black leather because i don't remember if i do if i still have that feeling did that so Um, Laura, give me a second. I think I might have that bin outside. Let me check really quick. If anyone has any other questions, though, let me know. Um, those are all the sunglasses I have right now, though, Bubble Tea Holic. Hopefully, I have some more this weekend, though. How high the heel on my belly boots? I remember them. I stole you money. I was saying, see if on it. Oh, Kathleen. Um, Vadrian, can you actually check? I think you have those boots. The belly boots? Yeah. No, I gave them to you. Because I gave them to you this weekend. Um, oh, and Boston, how much are the David Yermans? Let me check really quick. Oh, 85? Um, and Boston, the David Yermans are $85. They're really good size, too. These are nice and big. Okay. Let me know if you're interested in these, and I'll um, type them up. But let me look for that other bag really quickly. Um, actually, I think I put the heel height on the on those shoes, Vadrian. The Bally boots. I think I typed them out. Let me see if I can find them. Bally boots. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, no, I didn't put it. I think they were a low heel height, though. I remember they were probably, like, an inch. But Vadrian's going to check right now for you, for the heel height. Uh, and Busto. They're, like, really light, light, light scratches. I don't think they're going to show up. But there are, like, a couple just, like, very light marks. Nothing that's going to impede your vision. But there's just, like, they're, like, the, there's just, like, those light superficial... Um, marks that sunglasses always get but nothing like that's gonna that's noticeable when you're wearing them and the I don't know if you can see it's kind of like glittery too it kind of has like a glittery sheen to the inside of the it's almost like a car you know like sometimes like the paint of the car has like glitter in it okay I'll be right back though because I'm gonna go check out that bag really quickly I think I still have it. So one 
Second, but if anyone has any questions, uh, just type it out, and then Vadrian's going to let me know. Okay, I found it. It does have silver hardware. Okay. So, here we go. It is our black Rebecca Minkoff. The top flap, this is the one that's in pebbled leather. And the front of the body is in suede. And then the rest is in that same black pebbled leather. 
There's the bottom. <laughs> then I go to eat. I will after this though, for sure. And then you can have the wings out like that, or you can tuck them into itself like this. And it changes like the silhouette of the bag. And we have the top handle, cross body strap, is adjustable and removable. And yeah, it has a little ring detail right there. Interior has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets and another two open pockets on the other side. And it's super clean inside and out. There you go. So this is gonna be um, number... Oh, you're welcome, Embosto, no worries. 33. Okay, so this is our black, black Rebecca Minkoff satchel in suede and pebbles leather. Silver hardware. And this one is $85, I believe. So that's number 33. And our last item of the evening. But if anyone has any questions about anything, let me know. But look how cute this bag is. This is not a style that Rebecca Minkoff normally does either, so it's like pretty cool to see a different variation from the like the bags that she usually does. Oh, Laura's calling it. Congratulations, Laura. Yay! Sold. So Laura number thirty-three. All right, but if anyone has any other questions, definitely let me know. Um, our next sale, though, is going to be on Thursday, and we're going to do a special What's in Our Bag with Lady Badger. It's going to be the first one ever, and I think it's going to be so much fun. And, yeah, so we have a bunch of sales still this week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, the Friday one is going to be our 11-11 sale, so I'm trying to, like, find some really great stuff for you guys. It's going to be, like, a great, like, deals and stuff um but let's do our giveaway right now really quickly and if anyone hasn't had a chance yet to enter the giveaway i'm going to leave that link one more time in the live chat there you go and then let me grab my random comment picker that's not it okay so we're going to pick our winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Oh, Lori Cologne. Lori, you are the winner of tonight's giveaway. Congratulations, Lori. Let me throw up on there. I am most grateful for my relationship with God. That is beautiful. That's amazing. You love it. Lori, thank you so much. You are the winner of tonight's giveaway. You're the winner of our super cute anthropology pouch. Congratulations, Lori Cologne. Um, you are the winner tonight. So please send me an email um, with your sh with your information. But I think we do have it already. So I think we'll just be able to send it out to you. But congratulations, Lori. And if anyone has any questions about anything, um, feel free to ask now or send me an email. In, uh, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes and don't forget to join us again on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday but Thursday is our special What's in Our Bag with Lady Badger at the beginning of the sale so don't miss it it's going to be so much fun I'm really excited and oh and Kathleen the boot size is one it's about one and a half inches for the heel height for the boots so um yes <laughs> yes my bestie all right you guys well thank you so much i'm gonna go eat dinner now and um yeah i'll see you guys again on thursday good night everyone good night tanya kathleen laura um sarah um marjorie pauline bubble tea holic and basto lady badger um and uh, Mrs. Lady J. Roy, 
um, is Donnie, Cindy, and Liz, Marjorie, Terry. If I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Good night, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Arrivederci.